So here we have a back step from a 50-50 leg entanglement, and that back step would be similar to a back step to a knee bar, except instead of a knee bar, he yards the foot up for kind of a knee buster. And he only does it for about a split second. So the way the rest of this match goes, he doesn't hold that for very long. And in fact, the bottom man counters with his own technique pretty soon. But I excluded that from this just to show that this little moment here of the step over out of that 50-50 and the pulling back for a knee buster using both hands on the outside blade of the foot for his grip, that is a submission that I get in adversarial grapples all the time and I try to only do it with advanced players or players who know that their knee is in danger there but that submission 100% works it 100% works it's super dangerous um, and if you tuck your chin and guard yourself from choke attempts and that sort of thing then you mitigate most of the counter potential meanwhile if, if you know what you're doing and if you apply the right pressure you can really really screw up the other guy's knee real bad um, and to a lesser extent, if you change your, your own figure four feet grip at the bottom, you can turn that into something with pressure that has more in common with the modern toe hold. But just the knee buster all on its own is 100% doable, real, dangerous, threatening. And it's weird to me that more people don't understand that it's a thing. But um, it is one of those jujitsu blind spots. It was not a catch wrestling blind spot, but it to this day, it is still, in my opinion, a jiu-jitsu blind spot, even though it shouldn't be.